Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about texture replacement in Supermarket Simulator. Now, the way to set this up initially was a little complicated. There was quite a bit you had to do to get it going. And uh, as you can see, if you go to this description here for the mod, they have uh, tutorials and stuff here. Just a whole bunch of information that you wanna go through to find out how to do all kinds of stuff that you can change, alter, and all that good stuff here. It's quite a bit of information, but I think I have a nice little shortcut that'll get you to the point to where you can change things in the game as far as the textures of products specifically and the icons and stuff very quickly without needing to go through all of this. And you're gonna need another mod to do that. So firstly, let's go ahead and grab the original texture replacer mod. You can click manual, go to slow download and download it. Once it's downloaded to whatever destination you set it to download to, I usually do my supermarket simulator mods folder, which is this folder here. This is where all of my mods are usually kept. And then obviously you're going to use your extractor, whatever you have, your WinZip or whatever to extract your file. And then you'll have your texture replacer file right here. Once you have this, you want to follow the instructions on the screen to get to or to navigate your way to the uh, supermarket simulator folder. And once you're there, once you're there in your supermarket simulator directory here, Presumably, you already have Bepinex and Melon Loader installed because you've either installed mods before. If you have not done that, there's a video in the description that will help you get the initial files you need. But this tutorial is going to be assuming that you already have these. So uh, you're going to go to Bepinex. You're going to go to Plugins. And you're going to open up your Texture Replacer folder. And you're going to take this and you're going to drag it right into here. Now, once you drag your texture replacer folder into your Bepinex and plugin folder, it should be here. You'll open it up and you'll see these things here. At this point, it is installed. You're done. So that's done. Texture replacer itself, the mod, has officially been installed. So. The shortcut, head back over to your browser and find this one. This will be linked down in the description below. This is a US named brand mod. Now you may not want US named brand items. So you probably have to find, you know, whatever, if you want Dutch or French or Russian or whatever, there's plenty of mods on here from different places that you can find that have texture mods. But the reason why I'm specifically picking the US one is because all the products have been modded. Like everything has been modded in this one. I know that for sure, because I checked it. So that means you'll have access to every texture file, which is what you need, because at that point you can edit them or mod them however you want them to be. So once you have this set up, you wanna go ahead, download and unzip this, just like you did the previous one. And we're gonna go to where our mods are. And as you can see here, we have it right here. All products modded, US name brand. This is it right here. You're gonna go ahead and open this up. Open that up. And here we go. We have product names, icons, and textures. So you're gonna copy these three. And you're gonna drag it over here. And when you drag it over here, it's going to ask you, do you want to replace the files at the destination? You want to replace all files in the destination. Everything you want to be replaced and overwritten. I'm not going to do it right now because I've already done that. But once you do that, then what you're going to see when you open up object textures is you're going to see all the new textures for the American brands. If we if we click these and open these up, as you can see, these are all the new textures. This is all the stuff here. There's the pizzas and the, like all this stuff. This is all the new stuff right here. It's the orange juice and everything. Now this is installed. Now, now that you've dragged and dropped that over to the new folder, 
This is all installed. You can boot up your game. All of your new products will be there. Now, if you want to edit these, there is a few ways you can go about it. I use a website called PicMonkey. Uh, some people use, uh, um, what's the one I don't use? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Oh, GIMP. And other people will use Photoshop. It really just depends on what you decide to use. What this video was for was to just show you how to get access. Oh, sorry, I smacked the mic. Uh, show you how to get access to these files to begin with because you don't have access to them initially. Uh, even when you download the initial texture mod, the only thing you have access to are icons. And you can't really do much with icons outside of just change the icon of the food, which is what you see when you're looking into in the store menu and stuff like that. That doesn't do anything to the product itself. So what you're looking for, obviously, are the object textures. And that is this file right here, which has the textures of all the original items in game. And you can mess around with that as you see fit. Um, but that's it. That's that's how to download it. Like I said, I'm not really good enough. I don't possess the talent or skill to really go into specifically how you go in and how you specifically edit every individual item in here to make it look perfect. That's what you, that's something you got to work out on your own. This video is explicitly to tell you only how to download them and how to get them installed. So as long as you've done that and you've gotten to that point where everything is transferred over properly and installed, you should be good to go. It is installed. And from that point, you you can use your own creativity to figure out how you want to adjust and edit all the texture files and stuff. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's all I got. Hopefully that was helpful. I know this one, I was dreading doing this one because it's, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult to really explain, but hopefully that was clear enough. Either way, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, look, we got American products in here now. Look at this. We done upgraded. Look at all that. Did they take? Yeah, okay. They took the they took the lady off of the, <laughs> the land of lakes. I had to make sure they had the, the renewed version, and this is great. It took me way too long to do this, but I'm finally did it. Well, I finally did it. Look at the SpongeBob ice cream. Ooh, I want some of these. Like right now, I could actually go for, I could actually go for this for real. We looking good, ladies and gents. What's that? Oh, that's the penne. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I'm sure it's a thing. Pretty much everything else though, I'm pretty familiar with. All right. So we are back playing some Supermarket Simulator as usual. And uh, we got some new stuff. We got some five tier uh, shelves that we're messing around here with a little bit. We got all a bunch of new products. 